Hi everyone, we have got some more boxes from the Glossy Box Outlet Shopping. We have got number three, number four. Interesting story that goes along with these. So, I hope you guys stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And anyway, welcome to my channel, to my viewers, my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys so much. I know everyone is so busy, so I really appreciate that you're able to spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, don't let the hair scare you. I hope you click that red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Anyway, today we are going to do my Glossy Box Outlet Boxes. I had such trouble saying that. I have no idea why. I, I did like 10, 10 videos that I started already, and I keep saying Outlook. I know, it's driving me crazy. Outlet, Outlet Shopping. So anyway, I hope you guys leave some comments below. Your thumbs up are always appreciated. And these two boxes... Uh, boxes I did not order. So anyway, as you know, um, uh, last June box, if you get a subscription to Glossy Box, the June box is the last box that they are shipping. Um, so that is the last box that we will be charged for. They didn't give a reason. I am just assuming that it has got to be the shipping cost. Shipping is included in the boxes from the UK. I'm assuming that they do a large shipment every month to their warehouse here in the United States. And from there is where they maybe individualize, uh, label them and get them out to everyone. But shipping either way it's it's expensive i don't blame them for not doing this any longer they still have some boxes in the outlets so i decided as long as they weren't going to be shipping anymore i might as well just try to grab a few more so anyway last uh one i opened was my outlet box number two i almost slipped there and when i was opening it i was like i don't remember ordering this and come to find out that's not the one i ordered so i ordered three more boxes and two of them came in and I looked at them and I'm saying, this is the same one they sent me last time. So I went to my account and yeah, they sent me the wrong box last month, last time. They sent me a wrong box this time. And then my fourth box is also the one that I didn't order. So I did send them an email. I really didn't expect a reply back. They did send me a reply back and of course apologized for the error and offered to send me a post paid label to ship back to them. And I'm like, that's crazy. I'm sure there's something in this box that I can use and for them to have to pay what is going to be the cost to send back three boxes, right, to the UK. So I, I just said, no, that's okay. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not going to send them back. I appreciate that, you know, mistakes can happen, blah, blah, blah. So then they sent me another email like two days later and they're giving me like $9 credit for keeping the boxes. $9 credit, that's enough to get me another box. So I'm happy with that. Alrighty, so let's get into the one that they sent last month, the wrong one. And because even though I already showed it, I'm just going to show it again because more than likely most of these items are going to be in a future giveaway. So this one um, actually was one that probably would have been from the end of 2022. It was called Rock and Glam. It's got the scan me code, but again, because it's like white on such a pastel color, it didn't show up at all. We do have this. I should probably just leave it unopened just to... Uh, leave it nice and neat but you know I'm not a nice and neat person but anyway we will like I said more than likely these items are going to be in a giveaway so we've got another one of these satin pillowcases this one's the animal print I've got one already now I've got you know because then I got the one last time and I thought well you know maybe Mr. Griffin wants it next time he's my sleepover buddy but anyway so I probably more than likely will give both of these away in a future giveaway uh, we got this Replenix this nighttime therapy age restore I'd have to read up on it but nighttime age restore I'm sorry this is something I will probably end up keeping we've got this aromatherapy muscle gel and seeing how I already have one this one most likely will be in a future giveaway we have got this R ms beauty and it's a lip balm 
and if memory serves me right it was it was upside down and it's called darling lane and chances are if it's too dark it will be something that's going to go in a giveaway otherwise i would try it it does come in a nice package here a nice kind of silver tube and yeah this looks dark and again it's a lip balm so it probably would not go on as dark as this but as you can see i like uh dead lips light lips light light lips so this more than likely is going to be included in that giveaway as well and we've got this grande liner and it's a lash serum infused liquid eyeliner and i don't know if this is supposed to it's a lash enhancing serum I, I know i always say that i'm going to try this but i know i won't i didn't open the last one that i just got so more than likely i'll have to make two giveaways to so that someone doesn't get stuck with two of them i already said it's probably going to go in a giveaway as well this last item is borghese and i've heard good pro good items good things about this so this is mud for face and body Let's see if it has a seal, but I've heard good things about this product, so. And I do like masking. I think I just got my hair in there. So more than likely, I will keep this. This will be a few uses, and so, yeah, I will get some use out of that. But anyway, it wasn't a bad box. Like I said, I paid $7 because it's the outlet. I already got these items before, and I'm, if I haven't already give, given some of them away, they're probably in a box waiting for our future giveaway. Going to enjoy using this mud mask. I don't know if I've already started it or not. This Replenix, this Age Restore. Going to use that. This lip balm is a little dark for me. That'll be in a giveaway. The Building the Lash Serum. This will be in a future giveaway. And uh, this Muscle Gel because I've already got one. Well, I'll probably have two. But yeah, so this one will be in a giveaway. And this satin pillowcase, I love using the one I have. And I've got a plain one. Maybe I will keep one, but one of them will be in the giveaway. Alrighty, so that was my duplicate box number one. And this is, I'm going to call this number four. This is one that I didn't order. I'm sure there's probably some nice things in here, but again, it's not what I ordered. Because I do show you pictures, so you have an idea of what you're getting in them. And there was like none of them that had any of these boxes the items in here so it was kind of like it was a hodgepodge and as you can see i didn't open it but i could see from a little bit here it wasn't the one i ordered all right so let's open this and see what we have so this one had some wipes love your bare face so these cleansing cloths here from julep and I usually don't use these. I did keep one that I got from um, Vino, my favorite box in the world, just in case I do swatches and things like that. I don't do swatches too often because, yeah, I I don't do so well at that. But I did keep one that I keep over here just in case. So this will be in a giveaway. We've got this Insta Bobble, and I do remember getting this at one time. And it's not like the elastic one, so I don't know how to use this. Whether you're supposed to use it for a bun or something like that, or maybe Princess Leia ponytails, I don't know. So we've got this that'll be in a giveaway. We've got this roller, this after spa, and this one is in black marble. I've got one in green marble, and one in rose quartz so this one will be going in a giveaway as well so we've got the two rollers here and i know people use them all the time i know when i use them it's basically i'm doing a mask and i'm just trying to keep this part from sagging or going under and kind of roll that serum in but this will be in a future giveaway we've got philip kingsbury i think it's a split end it's for your hair on builder split end therapy so this is something that i more than likely will keep i probably already used the one i had um codex what is this this is a brightening serum i may or may not keep this i know i've got focus please i know i've got quite a bit of serums that i haven't opened yet so this may or may not go in a giveaway just to kind of fill in some gaps and we've got this daydreamer a 
dream come true. What else does it say? By bloom. Your dream cleanser come true. I do enjoy using cleansers. I mean, these sizes are perfect for going on vacation or making little hostess baskets or filling in the box when you're trying to do a giveaway and you want to take up as much space as you can. So I may or may not keep this, but anyway, it's a good size. I love, love, love getting cleansers in my boxes. This last one item in here is a moisturizing foot mask. And going into summer, and maybe you've got some dry callus feet from the dry winter air. So this will be good. I know I've sometimes I use these when I'm working because um, I'm at home and they can't see me anyway. And it just feels so good. This one has got lavender oils, or I put them on and then I put my mucklucks on over them when I'm sleeping. So anyway, I probably will keep this because I just love using mask on my feet as well so that was everything in my outlet box number four the items that were kind of like a surprise because i didn't order that box but i mean i'm sure there's some things in here that i got my seven dollar value and i got some things for a giveaway so that will be in a future giveaway the uh, facial wipes this insta bobble or invisible that's not like elastic but it's like a spool type thing don't know how to use it the mask I more than likely will keep. The black marble roller, that'll be in a future giveaway. This cleanser may or may not stay with me because I do enjoy cleansers. We've got this uh, brightening serum, may or may not keep it, might go in a giveaway. And the last item was this Philip Kingsley, which is a really good brand for split ends. I will more than likely be keeping this. So that was everything in my two boxes. Now I did order the holiday box, uh, one of the holiday boxes. That one came in. It was a little bit more money. I've got the ones that I tried to get twice. I wasn't going to do it again, but I ordered them again. So we'll see if they come in. And now they just gave me like $9 credit. So I'll probably try to get one more in. And I think when you buy just one under a certain amount, you do have to pay for shipping, which isn't too much. So I will probably end up getting at least one more box from the outlet. So anyway, what did you guys think? Have you been having good luck shopping at the outlet? Are you getting the boxes that you ordered or are you getting something else? I mean, I don't expect maybe to get those special boxes, the, the covers that were like limited edition boxes. I expect that probably those boxes are gone and we're going to get the classic box, which is I'm okay with. But I do kind of expect to get the things that I picked out, you know, those kind of products. But anyway, let me know what you think. What have you been getting? How have you been getting your shipments and what do you think of them not doing the subscription box anymore? So anyway, I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.